Hello. My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here. GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The book contains 230 problem solving questions. It has 174 data sufficiency questions. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. If you are interested in watching any of the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Right now we are in the process of redoing the problems and we are on page number 287. Please turn to it. Page number 287. The very first problem that you see on the page, number 100. In 31. In number 131, we are told that we have six shipments. We have six shipments and they are labeled as S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, and S5 and S6. We are also told that these six shipments are going on two trucks. We are further told that a given shipment cannot be broken up. A given shipment has to go entirely on one truck or the other. We cannot send power, we cannot send power of a shipment on one truck and the remainder on the other truck. The last condition that we have to meet is that the shipment that we send out on truck number one whatever shipments we send out on truck number one their total value has to be more than 50 percent the total amount total value of all the shipment that was sent on truck number one has to represent more than 50 percent of the total value of the merchandise the question is very simple very straightforward the question simply is was the third shipment was s3 the third shipment sent on the first truck. What's the third shipment sent on the first truck? Well, let's see what they tell us. Let's see what they tell us. But tell you what, before we actually start doing the work, before we actually start doing the work, I don't like dealing with fractions. I hate dealing with fractions. I detest them. I abhor dealing with fractions. And if I, if I can help it, if I can get rid of the fractions, I do that every time. Do you like dealing with fractions? Of course not. Fractions are pain in the derriere. Let's get rid of these fractions by pretending, by assigning them some, some monetary value. Instead of talking about fraction, fractional value, fraction of the total value, let's actually give them some monetary value, some dollar amount. Can you think of a, a number that we can divide evenly by 4 and 5 and 6 and 20 and 15 and 10? The smaller the better. The smallest number that we can think of that, will be, that can be divided by 4 or 5 or 6 or 20 or 15 or 10, that's such a number. The smallest multiplier that we can think of is called the least common multiplier LCM. LCM in this case, well you'll find out how to do it. Uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you have not figured out so far, we'll say now. This is how we figure out the least common multiplier. We write down our 4, our 5, our 6, our 20, our 15, and 10. And then we start and then we start dividing. As long as we can divide at least two of these numbers by a given factor, we divide it. So here we see a 4, a 6, a 10, a 20, let's divide by 2. So 4 becomes 2, 6 becomes 3, 20 is going to become 10, this is going to become 5. 5 is going to remain 5 and 15 is going to remain 15. Again I see a 2 and I see a 10. We can divide by 2 one more time. So this becomes 1, this becomes 5, this is 5, this is 15, this is 5 and this is 3. I see a 3 and a 15, we can divide the 3 and a 15, the common factor that 3 and 15 have is 3. Let's divide by 3. So 1, a 5, a 1, a 5, and 15 is going to become 5, and a 5. There you go. Yeah, we're almost done. Now we got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. The common factor among all these 5, of course, is 5. And once we divide by 5, everything becomes 1, and we are done. That's it. This is our least common multiplier. We know that 2 times, two times 5 is 10, and 2 times 3 is 6. So 60 is the least common multiplier. And of course, we don't have to do all of this thing if you were able to see right away that 60 is the number. You can, by visual inspection, I hope that you're able to tell that 60 would have done the job. 60 is the least one. This is the smallest one. Of course, if you thought of 120 or 180 or 600 or 6 billion, 6 billion would do the job as well. But it will be a very, very large number to deal with. The smallest common multiplier here is 60. Let's convert everything into, let's pretend, let's pretend that the total value of 
to all the shipment was sixty dollars. So how can we convert this into a denominator so that it shows up uh, so that we have a sixty at the bottom? One fourth, one fourth. If you divide top and bottom by fifteen, it will become sixty at the bottom. One fifth. If you divide top and bottom by twelve, it will become sixty at the bottom. One sixth. If you divide top and bottom by ten, it will become sixty. You get the idea. And now three three twenty eight three twenty eight. If you want to make it sixty, if you want to make it sixty, you have to divide top and bottom by three. It becomes nine nine sixteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. If you want if you want sixty at the bottom, you have to divide top and bottom by four. It will become eight over sixty. And finally, one tenth is going to be six 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 dollars. So this is going to be six dollars. Two fifteen. We just saw it here. It's going to show up as eight dollars. Uh, three twentieth we just saw is shown going to show up as nine dollars. One sixth, one sixth is going to be ten dollars. One fifth is going to be twelve dollars. One quarter is going to be fifteen dollars. That's it. We are done. At least now we don't have to deal with the fractions, and we can do a quick addition to make sure that our our math was correct. Twelve plus eight, twelve plus eight is twenty, and I see. A nine plus nine plus six is fifteen. Fifteen plus ten is twenty-five. Twenty-five plus twenty. Twenty-five plus twenty is going to be twenty-five. Thirty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five plus fifteen is sixty. So it adds up to sixty. You see. That's it. We're done. And now the question is: Was S three sent on the first truck? Let's find out, shall we? Let's see what they tell us. Statement one tells us. The second shipment and the fourth shipment. The second shipment and the fourth shipment were sent on truck number one. The question is, was the third shipment was the third shipment sent on the first truck also? Let's see what we can do here. If the second shipment and the fourth shipment are on truck number one, let's let's put there as two two possible scenarios. We have two possible scenarios: S2 plus S4, S2 plus S4. The question is, what else can be put here? Is it possible to have S3 here? Is it possible to have S3 here? Let's find out. S2 we know, S2 we know is twelve dollars. S4 we know is nine dollars. S3 is ten dollars. Let's see what they are up to. Let's see what they are up to. They are up to thirty-one dollars, and thirty-one dollars, of course, is more than fifty fifty percent, because that's our requirement. We have to have the total value of the shipment on the first truck has to be more than fifty percent. So that is a possible scenario. Let's see what else can we send here. If we have S two and S four, uh, is it possible to send S one? Is it possible to send S one? Well, let's see. S one is fifteen dollars, so we have twelve dollars plus nine dollars plus fifteen dollars. How much is that? Twelve, twelve plus nine, twelve plus ten would have been twenty-two, so it's twenty-one. Twenty-one plus fifteen, twenty-one plus fifteen is. Well, why am I wasting time here? It's because we got a twelve here, we got a nine here, so it's going to be five more than that. But that's not what I have here. S one, S one is. Did I make a mistake here? It is fifteen. S. Oh, we have S two here, not not S one. We have S two. S two is twelve. Twelve plus nine, same as before. Twelve plus nine, and then S one. Oh, S one is. Just give me one second, okay? I'm confused here. S one is fifteen. S one is fifteen. Anyway, I'm wasting too much time. Had it been real exam, I would not do any of this thing. It, this is a sheer waste of time. Do you understand? This is a sheer waste of time. You simply have to be able to tell that this thing, whatever it is, is more than thirty. That's all we are interested in. You see, so we should not do any. I'm, I'm, I'm ticked off now. I'm, I'm mad at myself because I was standing here like a moron, wasting away time. Had it been real exam, I would not have done that. We are not interested. We really don't give an F here as to I can't say I can't believe I said that as to what the total value is. We are simply interested in whether or not it was more than fifty percent. Well, of course it's more than thirty. This is twelve. This is fifteen. This is only one less than ten. 
So obviously it's going to be more than 30. So this one was also a possible scenario. This is also a possible scenario. We looked at S1, we looked at S3, and we are done. There are two different possibilities. It is possible that we may have sent S3 beta on the, on the first drug. It is also quite possible that we, have, we may have sent S1. But we did not look at, we have four, we have one, two, three, and four. We did not look at five and six. We did not look at five and six because five and six are very small amount, eight dollars and six dollars. If you put eight dollars or six dollars here, they would not add up to more than 30. They would not add up to more than 30. We cannot have, we cannot have eight or six here. If, 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 see, this, this was 31. This was 31. Had it been eight, had it been eight, this would have been 29. And 29, of course, is not more than 50%. So it cannot be eight or six. That's why we did not look at them. That's why we did not look at them. The only possibility, the only possibility is either we send S3 or S1. In both cases, we fulfilled the condition. The condition was that we have to send the shipment in such a way that the truck one carries more than 50% of the value. So what do we conclude? We conclude that standard number one by itself is not sufficient. Simply knowing that the second shipment and the fourth shipment were, were on first truck does not enable us to tell with certainty whether or not the third shipment was also on the first truck. Maybe the first truck went with second shipment, fourth shipment and the first shipment. Or maybe it did go with the third shipment. Who knows? The first statement is not enough. A, D, B, C, E. A, D, B, C, E. Now that we established the first statement by itself is not enough, we know now that the answer cannot be A or D. It would have to be either B, C or E. Let's look at second statement. Let's look at second statement. Sometimes I explain too much. Not sometimes, I do that all the time. S1 and S6, we are told this time, are on truck number two. Pay attention to this. This is now truck number two we are dealing with. In the second statement, we are, in the second statement, they give us information about second truck, not the first truck. Pay attention. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at a couple of scenarios, okay? Let's first see what S1 and S2 add up to. S1 is $15, S6 is $6. What does it tell us? Is it possible? Is it possible for S3 to be on this truck? Let's find out. S1 plus S6 plus S3. S3 is how much? Shipment is $10. Is it possible? For S3 to be on this truck. Let's find out, shall we? 15 plus 6 is 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 10 is 31. 31 is more than 50%. What does it tell us? It tells us that we could not have possibly, we could not have, this tells us, this implies that we could not have, we could, we could not have possibly, we could not have possibly sent S3 on track 1. Why? Because we are, we are told, or rather track 2, on track 2, why? Because we are told that track 2 carries less than 50% of the value. Where does it say that? Where does it say that second truck carries less than 50% of the merchandise value? Right here. We are told the shipment has to be sent in such a way we are told the shipment has to be sent in such a way that truck 1 is the one that is going to carry more than 50%. But if truck 1 is going to carry more than 50%, then truck 2 can also not, can, cannot also carry more than 50%. If truck 1 is going to carry 50%, more than 50% that is, then truck 2 would have to carry less than 50%. It is not possible. It is impossible to put third shipment. It is impossible to put the third shipment on the second truck. Because if the second... If, the, if we put the third shipment on the second truck, then we'll end up with $15 plus $6, which is $21 plus $10 is 
$15 plus $6, which is $21, plus $10 is $31, and $31 is more than 50%. Since, since now, now, now that we have determined that S3 could not have possibly gone on second truck, which means it must have gone on the first truck. The second statement does the job quite beautifully. The question was, did, this, did the third shipment go on the first truck? Did the third shipment go on the first truck? The answer, of course, is a definitive yes. Yes, it did go on the first truck because we could not send it on the second truck because had we done that, we would have, we would have ended up sending more than 50% on the second truck, which is not allowed. Second statement does the job beautifully. The answer is B. The answer to this question is B. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.